All right, guys, so we're gonna talk just a little bit about the trays here, as well as the coils and the dividing walls. So first of all, to get the tray out, uh, you just lift it slightly and then roll it out now that it's on the wheels. It's gonna come all the way out and then it'll actually tilt down a little bit to make it easier for you to access inventory in the back. Not all the coils are the same size or the same width in between the coils. So depending on what you're trying to uh, put in this particular selection, you might want a, a, a wider item or a thinner item. So your spirit box comes with all different sizes of coils. And if you decide that you want a smaller item here and a wider item over here, it's very easy just to release these coils from the back and move them to another location so we can use these wider coils uh, in a different uh, selection. So a couple of more things to point out here. First of all, in the back, you're gonna see individual motors here for each individual coil. So um, what that allows us to do is if we wanna come in here and put a divider here and say that we want this to be two separate selections, we can do that. And we'll get into coupling and uncoupling motors here in just a minute. Um, basically, all I need to do to remove a wall is push in. This thing now releases and now I can slide it in here and make this two selections. So I'm gonna put that back here. Something that's important to point out is um, you're gonna notice that the coils, the way the coils end on the outsides, the coils go outwards and then they alternate the way the coil ends every other one. It's important that that's how it remains. If these two coils were reversed, the motors are gonna spin in a way in such that the, the inventory or the product's gonna go away from the client when they select it versus drop, drop forward. And if you have two coils going the same way, half of it's gonna go back, the other half will go forward, and again, it won't vent. So it's important that the coils are configured in a way where they spin every other direction so the motors do the, the appropriate action with the coil. Uh, finally, with some of the original models of Spirit Box, a couple of the trays don't have uh, a motor for every coil. There's actually a motor for every other coil and then a gear that runs the coil in between. So those can't be coupled and uncoupled because there's not a motor to run an individual uh, selection on that particular one. So now it's okay because the machine knows when you're in there programming it, and we'll get to that in a second, if you can couple or uncouple a particular combination of motors, it won't give you an option for a combination that's not, uh, that, that won't work. You always have to start with the odd number when you're coupling motors. You can't start with an even. So you'll notice this is now 201. If these were uncoupled, this would be 201 and then 202. I can never couple this combo right here that leads with an even. It always needs to be with the odd number first followed by the even right next to it. Again, the machine is going to tell you what is allowed and not allowed, but just keep that in mind as you're uh, thinking through what your uh, product's uh, combination is gonna look like inside of your spirit box.